Is Asheville, North Carolina still a safe move after the hurricane? That's what we're going to explore today. We're going to take you north, south, east, and west and show you what the real story is here because there's a lot that you probably are not expecting and we want to make sure you have all the information that you need to make a sound decision. We've had so many clients contact us and they're like, is Asheville still standing? What's going on with Asheville? Are you okay? And we love that. We'd love for you to reach out to us, of course. Any of the ways down below, reach out with any questions. We'll give you updates on timelines, things like that. But what we want to tell you is that the areas near the rivers were the most damaged. And then after that, people are just waiting on utilities. I would say, as of yesterday, the internet was back like 86%. A lot of people have power. A lot of people have power. They have had crews down from the Northeast that have swept in and saved us. They're everywhere. They're like a, just a flock of linemen, line workers who have, have turned on the power everywhere for us. So there's lots of different free meals around town. A lot of churches have it. A lot of Bears Barbecue has free meals. So y'all will have water again. You haven't had water the whole time? Uh, not until yesterday in this hotel. No, the, the exclamation comes from, the help is there. The big help is there. We're just filling in the cracks like ice yeah. cream after a huge meal. There's this like thing tugging at my heart right now where uh, it feels like everything's going to change. And I really hope that we are able to keep a lot of the wonderful experiences that this has given us with us as we move forward. Now, what we want to do on this video is we want to take you through the areas that are up and open for business and are ready to rock in the areas that were most strongly hit. Now we're not gonna go visit all these places right now because it's not in our best interest to run around and show devastation right now. Because you have to remember the point of our channel too is to help people who are thinking about relocating to Asheville with resources and information to help inform their move. That's our job, we're not a devastation channel. But we wanna make sure that you know which areas of Asheville suffered, suffered the least amount which areas suffered the most amount, where it might still be safe to buy, and is even Asheville like a safe place to move to? People are like, oh my gosh, you've been wiped away. And we're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> we're right here. But if you just look at the, the news, if you just look at the national news, you would think that Asheville is gone. You would think that we don't even exist anymore, but it's not true. We're just, um, we're hanging out for a minute and we're helping our neighbors and we're making sure everybody's okay. But we're gonna be okay, you know why? Because we have heart, we got soul, we are resilient, we are wonderful, and we are led um, with love. We lead with love right here. So we're gonna be just fine. So reach out any of the ways down below. We're happy to walk you through the process, especially if you were thinking about moving to Asheville and then you saw the news and you're like, um, no, we're good. We're gonna be good. We're rebuilding even better than before. And we get to do it now in a very conscientious and conscious way as a community. It's gonna be cool, y'all. It's gonna be really cool. Here's a little free coffee. So so you might know the double-decker bus right here. This is, oh, it's all decorated. Look, they have um, free coffee just on the corner. So we're downtown right now, and we wanted to show you where this, all this work on the water system is happening. So yesterday when I was down here, there was water coming out of the, what are they called? Fire hydrants. And today there's this big thing. I don't know what it's going on. Maybe they'll tell us, but look, they're working hard on it because we got to get downtown back. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, what are they doing? Pumping water into our hotel. Oh, okay. So y'all will have water again. You haven't had water the whole time? Uh, not until yesterday in this hotel. My other hotels have it. This is Haywood Park. And that's Cambria Hotel. Okay. And they've had water for five days? Uh, that one has. Okay. But we're pumping it out of tanks. Oh, got it. Okay. Same, same setups over there, but bigger tanks. Let's see what else is going on downtown. There's not a ton of people here right now. Restaurants are waiting eagerly to come back. But you know the shops that don't need water, like the little boutiques and things like that, they're open. There's uh, some debris down, but let's head over to um, this little park over here and get an idea about what it looks like. The tourists have gone home. The locals have regained, have regained their town for a little while, and there's 
a lot of people are like, yay, we get our town back for a minute, because a lot of the year, it is, um, it's such a tourist area here. It's kind of fun for us to be like, hey, it's just us right now. We love you tourists, don't worry. I mean, we'll welcome you back in just a minute, but we just need a second. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is there water back downtown yet? Uh, in places. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, water at uh, their office off of Broadway as well, so. Okay. Uh, station 13. Just to use the bathroom, so that's it. No drinking water yet. Well, yeah, we're not drinking it. Yep. But I saw water back. coming out of hydrants yesterday in yep. this big old truck here right now. Yep. So, the, so once that happens, then downtown can kind of open back up, right? I don't know. I don't Somebody's know. Okay. Decision. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's not spilling the beans quite yet, but my hunch is we are right on the brink. By the time this comes out, we're going to be open. No way. No way we're not going to be open. Because a day is not complete without stopping by downtown's World Central Kitchen, who is really the forefront of leading the charge in Asheville when it comes to feeding people. They are partnering with local restaurants to um, supply food, and they have daily runners that go out um, to all areas of Asheville, including my neighborhood, including Swannanoa, including everywhere. I wonder how many volunteers they have, actually. They have a million. Don't take that literally. They probably don't have a million. A lot of the the places here have volunteered their space and their kitchens too for World Central. This is Bear's Barbecue, but for World Central Kitchen to swoop in and oh, I've been. Mean, can I have one of these today? Sure. I talked to you yesterday. Help yourself. Thank you. So look, every day, every day they've got a long line going. They are rocking it. They are feeding people. It is lunchtime right now. They got bananas and apples over there. They usually have live music here every day too, which is awesome. Look at everybody. This is a long line today. Wow. And then, that's it. That's the World Central Kitchen they're doing every single day. I don't think they're stopping anytime soon. Yeah. One of the silver linings of this whole thing is coming out, meeting neighbors, but also rolling around town and seeing where you can eat. And not only like when you go get when you go get some food, that you get nice hot food, which is awesome because people have not had accessibility to resources to be able to cook and, and whatnot. But you get to see a lot of people, which is cool too. So this place has some free meals today. So let's see what's going on here. So there's lots of different free meals around town. A lot of churches have it. A lot of Bears Barbecue has free meals. You have World Central Kitchen. You have Blunt Pretzels in Swannanoa. You have We Are Love in West Asheville and some other ones too. They're all still fully in operation, even though a lot of people have electric back and, and some people have water. Now, who has water right now? A lot of people on the north side, Weaverville, Woodfin. Woodfin was, was spared except for the uh, where it was near the French Broad River. West Asheville does not have water right now. East Asheville does. Does Black Mountain have water? I can't remember. Um, South Asheville is looking dang good. And Bent Creek never lost anything. Bent Creek never lost power or water or anything. Isn't that crazy? It's just like on the south side of Asheville. <laughs> hey, Pookie! Who's, po who's Pookie? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my friend, man. He he, he put a job. We just bought a baby straight cash. Y'all ever seen Dave Spell? So? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? I'm doing my own thing. It's called Living in Asheville. Living? And we're okay. talking about people who are living here, moving here, all kinds of stuff. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. maybe the people will come back. Oh, they're coming back. They're coming back, yeah. They just got a little freaked out for a minute, yeah, right? they're going to come back. I think they're going to come back with a vengeance. Too. I know. <laughs> you know it's going to be crazy. Because that's their way of supporting the city. For sure. You know what I mean? So they'll come back, and maybe tourists will go up, and a lot of businesses can do a lot of catch up. You think Asheville will rebuild? I mean, yeah. They got to, right? If they want oh, the for people sure. to come back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, okay, he's got to take a call. Right, take a call. So he's got to take a call. He's important. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> We're trying to, to um, see and go to places that are serving food that we haven't been to yet. And Sunny Point is one of those places that's always a popular destination um, for people that are, that are visiting town. But I don't think they're officially open to the public, but I think they're serving food right now. So we're gonna go in and see uh, what the situation is. 
Greens are a dish that most Southerners would walk a mile for. Block. Yeah. Dang it! Then they're out of food. Yeah, we got your right at the tail end. Yeah, there was a tail end of it, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, we're on a hunt. We're not. We're we're striking out with the food today. Well, there's probably stuff downtown, but downtown. Um, we did that too. But they were real. Yeah, it was long lines. And and it was a couple down oh, Patton. Okay. Oh really? Yes. We be, just, here. Oh cool. Oh, we miss it. Awesome. We've been striking out. We're like. Yeah, real cheese in one with pasta, and this pasta with another. Thank you so much. Thanks. We got pasta and grilled cheese. We got it, Justin. Justin's getting hangry. Life of real estate. Life of YouTuber real estate? Yeah. No. You, got a, you got a fancy noodles driving around. It's a good life with fancy noodles. <laughs> <laughs> we got to show you West Asheville. And um, we can't hit everything today, but I'm sure trying. So we're going to drive you around West Asheville for a minute as I eat my noodles and watch out the window and show you what the homes look like here and show you a little bit down Haywood Road. We also have another video that we made not too long ago. This shows more of West Asheville, uh, but if you want to get the full scope of what's happening here, uh, we cannot go into too much depth in each area. So we're doing some overviewing. West Asheville's looking pretty damn good. One of the things that Evelyn and I were talking about the other day was, um, you know, some things that, that are unaffected by the hurricane and unaffected by, um, kind of climate and what we're looking at right now and one of those things is uh, the community spirit of course if anything it's increased and also the abundance of outdoor um, recreation opportunities and these views you know everywhere we look I, I come like over a hill and I still look at these blue these Blue Ridge Mountain views and my heart is just so full um, that's something that that it can't can't be taken away. Now we're gonna see like a, you know some some cleanup that needs to happen for a little bit, and we're also going into the winter, which can sometimes be a little gloomy and things like that. You know, for a couple months, we're not there yet. We're getting ready to go into fall leaf season, which is beautiful. But like, there's so much beauty and goodness that is that is seeping out of the cracks right now, that um, it really is a silver lining and a, and a beautiful aspect of, of grace during this time. They are rocking and rolling over it. We are love, busy people. Things are moving out, this is great. Things are coming in, things are moving out. They had a really fun fundraiser the other night, or other day here, um, with some dance and some music. We had such a great time. This is such a wonderful organization. What's happening here is miraculous. Look at all these people hard at work over here. We're gonna get some scissors out. Hi, is Logan here? I have something I wanna show you that he said we can send out into the remote areas. Okay. Ooh. Mm. So what we have here, and this is so nice of these people. It's called, the company's called Grail, and they make a filter and purifier. Okay. And what this is, it's a water bottle that purifies, uh, it purifies everything from bacteria to viruses to E. coli to everything, everything. So people that don't have access to uh, clean water sources or first responders or people like that could use these. They donated a lot to us, so we want to make sure to get them to you so that you could send them out to the remote areas. Okay. So That's I'm going to leave you with this, and I love this. There's magic on this planet, and it is contained in water. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So yeah, this is super. This is super important. I would love it to get in the right hands. You want me to grab the hand trick? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so where do you think these will go? Probably like Mitchell, Yancey County, possibly down to Black Mountain on Route Nine, depending. Okay. Yeah. Because parts of Black Mountain are okay, and parts of Black Mountain. Yeah. Are not anything so good. like on Route Nine going south towards um, Lake Lure. Is, Lake Lure. Yeah. 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 They're still using the mule guys to pack stuff in and out. Yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. They asked us for two by fours and two by sixes so they can make bridges for the mules to walk on. So we were trying to source some of those today and see if we can't get them some wood so they can 
get to places they haven't been. Mm -hmm. yeah. These here. Yeah. These are awesome. Aren't they cool? Thank you so much. They, um, a friend of mine, I used to be in the outdoor industry, and a friend of mine contacted me and from Colorado. Mark Cohen, you remember him? He got us connected with the, these people, and they sent them for us. Amazing. Isn't that cool? They're like $220 yeah, thank each. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. <laughs> thank you for all y'all do. So here's how they work. Here's what we're figuring out. You fill it up to the to the line there. Here's the filter. Filters out bacteria, viruses, E. coli, everything that we have to think about when we're thinking about like the river water and things like that. So it gives people access to clean water. You put it down in here, push it down. It takes about eight seconds. The water pushes it back up and then boom, you have clean drinking water right out of here. Cool, thanks Grail. We've gotten some conflicting reports about that South Asheville, but the people that don't live here say uh, they don't have water, and the people that do live here say they do have water. So that, I'm pretty sure they have water. And they definitely have electricity because the restaurants are open, there's water flowing, they're j it's just not drinkable water. So they're still using water bottles for all that, which is normal. So one of the things that I've really been missing in this whole catastrophe is um, ice cream. And you know, like this is the new this is the new way I judge if an area is, is up and running and doing well is if they have ice cream. <gasps> what is this? This is amazing. Hold on. Oh, this is like frozen yogurt ice cream. Yeah, frozen. Okay, I'll take that. It's a do-it-yourself frozen yogurt. I hope. Do I just? There's nobody who works here, so you just get to scoop. Do it by the pound. Shut the front door. <laughs> you just get to scoop everything. Is it's it's ice cream by the pound? Put on, that's a good way to put on the pounds. Y'all, I gotta share a secret with you. Everybody has a different way of coping. One of the ways I have found um, that really lights my fire is to have some like chocolate cake and some ice cream. No, I don't have ice cream, because there's I haven't had a freezer, but some chocolate cake from Trader Joe's. Okay, let's do it. But I don't need it like that much. They, do they purposefully give you like huge things so that you eat a ton? No, that's not what I want. You just put the tiny amount in. Okay, well, there's only one option. I do not ever want to waste my calories on anything but chocolate. Okay. This is really like, oh yeah. This is crazy. This is crazy. They even have those like bubble tea bubbles. Help yourself to whatever color spoon you Ooh, want. Oh, Justin wants blue. I want pink. Do you guys have water yet here? Uh, we're on oil advisory. Okay, but so there's, there's water. water. Oh, for the ice cream. The okay. Yep. And then we have this that we're. Yeah, cool. We've had running water, I think, since 48 hours after. Oh, so like within two days of the storm, was, you had, it's okay, so it doesn't have to be exact. I was stuck in Fairview Chainsaw on my way out. Oh, yeah, Fairview Wednesday. had a lot. Wednesday. Yeah. So the, South Asheville, I think, fared really well compared to the other parts of town. And from what I've seen, yeah. I, I drive to and from work. That's yeah. about it. I haven't been able to get out. Yeah, I know. There was a lot of devastation there. East Asheville, near the Swannanoa River, was one of the areas that was really affected because we got so much rain so quickly um, and nobody expected it to be that intense. And so anyone that was near the Swannanoa River really was washed away. It was uh, complete devastation. Lots of homes were lost, lots of property was just gone. Um, I'm near Warren Wilson College right now, which is Swannanoa East Asheville border. The college itself didn't have a lot of damage, but you can see like behind me, there's a lot of uh, just destruction nearby. Swannanoa, right on the east side of Asheville, is one of the most heavily affected, affected places. It kind of looks like a dust storm right now. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time to rebuild, but on the other side of Swannanoa is Black Mountain which is relatively untouched. Um, and then right south of all of that is Fairview. And Fairview is a place where a lot of trees went down and a lot of people live on mountains. And they were trapped at the top of the mountain because they couldn't get down. Um, a lot of these people are being cleared out now and, and, and paths are being cleared, but it was a long haul. Um, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of East Asheville and Swannanoa. As we drive around, uh, there are pockets just like everywhere else in Asheville. Swannanoa has water now and power and um, is looking better, but it's a long road ahead. 
it is an area that um, has diverse economic backgrounds here and some people are really going to have to fight for to for the right to get back on their feet One of the staples in Swannanoa for people getting help is blunt pretzels. And these guys who are volunteers took over this pretzel shop that served like beer and pretzels and stuff like that. And they made it into like this full fledged place that serves food every single day. They've got a French chef here. They have canned goods and supplies and world kitchen supplies, world central kitchen supplies, some food too. Um, and they have fresh drinking water which is awesome. You can just come and refill your jugs. It's pretty amazing. Across from me here too, they have food, not food, they have clothes here set up. And it's kind of like a little mini grocery store too. It's really helped the people of Swannanoa and it's so cool what they're doing. The sense of community has been fabulous. I'm just here in East Asheville getting some gas and there's no line, things are pretty normal here. And one thing I just noticed, is that the car wash behind me is open. That's a good sign because that means there's enough water in East Asheville and in general to wash your car. Yeah. Welcome to Weaverville. We have a special treat for you today because you don't see this every day. This is a very low maintenance home that has four bedrooms, three full baths and a half bath, so quite a lot, and two bedrooms on the main floor. Now look at this, this is incredible. It has an open floor plan, open kitchen, um, and you could totally live on one floor if you wanted, but there's a whole second floor upstairs. And there's a special treat outside for you too. This fireplace is going to feel really good on a chilly day like today. It's starting to get cold here in North Carolina. If you have a gas fireplace that just operates with a flip of a switch. How awesome is that? Now this home was built in 2016, so it's not that old. So it has everything nice and updated and ready to rock. Great kitchen, stainless appliances, huge pantry. Um, everything is just so super easy on a small footprint. Now heading into the primary bedroom, you can see it overlooks the backyard. It has some nice ceilings, tall ceilings, double sinks here, huge tub, which is awesome, separate shower and closets on both sides. Heck yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about where we are right now in Weaverville because we are right down the road from Main Street. So if you want to walk to restaurants and cute little boutique stores and things like that it's just right down the way now here's the other bonus we are right close to lake louise too so if you want to go on a walk around the lake you can do that as well in a really low footprint now let's see how many acres this has 0.23 super simple and one of the cool things about this this piece of property too is you are in a neighborhood, you're in a community, but you have a level backyard, which we're gonna show you in just a little bit. First, let's head upstairs. Let's see what's going on up there. There's a little bedroom down here, another bathroom. So you have the primary bathroom. Here's your like your public restroom. <laughs> just kidding, for your friends. Um, this could be an office or a tiny little bedroom. Now let's head upstairs and see what's up there. Oh, I got a clue right here, the baby gate. Let's look and see. So this is really nice. This is such a cozy little flex area. It looks like this is where they have their TV. They do a lot of chilling here. But look over here, how adorable is this? It looks like they have some tiny babies. One named Parker. Look at this cool little toddler bed. This is a very clean space for to have little tiny people around, huh? Train set, books. They have decorated this so well. Oh, look at this bear on the wall. They must have got that themselves. <laughs> okay, heading over here. You got a full bath with a bathtub. Heck yeah, that's easy. And then, oh my goodness. How sweet is this? WWP, I don't know what it means, but it's adorable. They have decorated this so well. 
And I love that they have a nice fluffy carpet in here too. Um, it just feels so good on the feet. Look at this little crib. Okay, so nice flow upstairs. It's like the children are self-contained up here with a little baby gate. Y'all, we should go check out the backyard. What's wonderful about this house is in the listing description, it says it was completely untouched by the hurricane. So I guess they never let, lost power or water. And in Weaverville, maybe that's the case. We'll have to check in. Justin, is that the case? Some places, it depends. There's little pockets, but they were lucky, especially with kids, man. Nice screened in porch right here. And then it looks like we had, we had a little um, windy day yesterday. So some things blew over. To get a really level backyard in Western North Carolina can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. And I have never seen a flutter backyard in Western North Carolina than this one right here. This home is so um, easy. 0.23 acres. It is a right amount to manage. And you could almost have one of those little robot mowers out here because it's so flat. And look what they've done. They've created a little fenced in area for the toddlers to play. And mama can just sit right here and have a coffee. Now, when we drove through the neighborhood, we saw um, some trees down and some, some landscaping needs that need to be met. People are still kind of cleaning up and getting ready, but the neighborhood looks pretty good. We'll take you on a little stroll around there in just a minute and show you what the, the neighborhood looks like in Weaverville. slammed in here thank you so this is the yellow mug this is right on main street in weaverville do you live in weaverville i do yeah do you have do you have water back i do have water back we're on a well you're on a well yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Just so you know. So we're happy to guide you in any way that we can to show you which areas were most affected and least affected so that you can make a sound decision when you are moving and relocating to the Asheville and Western North Carolina area. There's a lot to consider, especially now. So feel free to reach out any of the ways down below. We've got another house coming up for you um, that is in Asheville and it is super special. It has a couple of, of things that go along with it that really give you peace of mind so that if you ever did lose utilities or things like that, you wouldn't even know. Y'all, this is a special surprise. We are just right north of downtown. I mean, just, you could just hop on your e-bike or trot it on down to downtown Asheville. We're in the heart of it. And we're, this is a cool house and I'll show you why because it's not like any other house I've ever shown you actually. This is, this is very different. So we're gonna head on inside. Now this was built in 2019. You coming in, Justin? You gotta come on in. This is built in 2019. And there are so many different surprises along the way with this house. So first, everything is um, absolutely brand new, <laughs> fresh, wonderful. Look at this kitchen. It's so nice in this light filled room with the um, big windows that they put up here and a gas, it looks like a gas wood stove type of cylinder one, which I like really modern touch here. Now this house is solar, has solar panels all up on the top of it. It also has a natural spring in the back. So you get natural spring water in the city of Asheville. Like I'm serious when I say, you could be downtown on foot in what, 10 minutes? Now let's go through this door because here's the primary bedroom. I love all the wood floors throughout, all the natural light. And then here you have the primary bathroom, which has a laundry center right here, which is awesome. Look at this, Justin. Oh my gosh. Not only is it a cute shower, but look, they have a urinal in the bathroom. I love that. Now that's a first, y'all. I have never seen that, but that's convenient for people. And look at the shower, it's massive. Oh my goodness. Beautiful like stone accents throughout. Let's see, oh, let's go up to the loft. So here you have one bedroom, the primary bedroom downstairs, and we'll go up on the loft area, which could possibly be made into another bedroom if you wanted it. 
because it, there is a bathroom up here, but they've used it as an office space. There's so much potential up here because they have used this area as an office space and a little guitar area, but there's also a full bathroom right here. So you have a tub and, and everything just right here. So if you wanted to close that off for another bedroom, you could, but let's look outside because this is really, this is really the thing that wowed me. So this is one of my favorite parts to the home is this huge deck right here. How gorgeous is this? So you kind of feel like you're in the trees, like a tree house up here. It's absolutely gorgeous with the, imagine these lights going. You're sitting in the hot tub, hop, skip and a jump from downtown Asheville, living your best life. Check out the solar panels over here too. Look at these massive solar panels. So they have a battery backup system that go with these sol solar panels. So when they lost power after the storm, um, they never even really felt it because the generator battery pack from the solar panels kicked on and they had power the whole time. Now here's a really cool thing too. If you look down here, you'll see that they have a natural fed spring on the edge of the property here. So there's some lines going up and what these sweet people have done is that they are taking all the spring water. Can you imagine right in the city of Asheville, there's a natural spring. Think about how much water we have and how much, uh, you know, natural abundance of water we have anyway. There's a natural spring right down here and they have run pipes with a pump up here so they can get spring water in their home. They're not only doing it for themselves though, and this is the heart of Asheville. This is something you really wanna think about when you're thinking about moving to Asheville is what the community is like, what the people are like, especially in times of crisis and need. They not only are getting water for themselves, they are pumping up water. They're putting it in a big container at the top of the driveway for the entire neighborhood to use. Are you working on the well, on the, on the, the pump for the spring? Um, I just finished filling it up. You filled it up? Okay, yeah, cool. Well, We're going to go up there and check it out in just a minute. Okay. Yeah. Are the neighbors using it? They're starting to, yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, there is no other place that I would want to be during a crisis of any situation than Asheville. Because the amount of care and uh, camaraderie and just like immediate support, people just have come out of the woodwork and like, what can I do? How can I help? Let's go. What do you need? There's not, there's probably very few people around this area in Western North Carolina that have not been approached, you know, at their home or in, in the community that have not received support in some way. You know, we were telling this lady yesterday, we call ourselves the... Uh, ice cream task force because and the explanation <laughs> you're speaking my from, language oh yeah, my god no the, the explanation comes from the help is there the big help is there we're just filling in the cracks like ice yeah. cream after a huge meal oh my <laughs> gosh i love it it's it's in honor of steve's aunt oh it's, it's I love one it. of her saying that's sweet that's heart that's us that's Asheville. so next we have a special treat because this is not the end of this home there is more. So let's go discover what other things there is to offer. You're not gonna believe it, let's do it. Okay, so we're down at the bottom of the stairs right now. If you take a left, now this is also accessible from the outside with its, with its own private door, but look at this little secret. Oh my goodness, it's a whole nother unit, y'all. You can host your parents, parents-in-law. You can host um, your guests from out of town. You could probably rent this out monthly or long-term. It is a whole income producing area down here. And it is not huge, but it definitely ha has everything that you need. So you have a nice living room here. You've got a full bath here with laundry facilities. And then a beautiful shower that looks very similar to the main house. I just love these. I love these big showers. Oh my gosh, look at that. It is so fresh and clean too. Um, now this, I believe they said can come furnished or not furnished. So how easy would that be if you were coming to Asheville, you wanted a home upstairs. Think about that. You got home upstairs with everything that you need. You have another unit right here. And then let's go out the front door to this unit. Follow me. Don't get lost, everybody. So you're going to come out the front door of this unit and you're going to walk over here to apartment two, come up in here to these beautiful orange doors. I love it. And look in here. 
it's another whole unit. Check it out, y'all. Little living room right here. Beautiful open concept kitchen. You have everything that you need. So let's see what's here because I believe it's a studio. Primary bedroom here right on the main floor, which is perfect. And then we have a bathroom right here with a third. So keep in mind, this is the third living space in this home. Washer and dryer, double vanity, shower. No bathtub in this one. And then you come through, let's see, come on through. And then look, there's a big loft upstairs with these windows, vaulted ceilings. Let's head up. Upstairs has so much space too. Look at these big windows with this light. Here's another little loft area that could be uh, an office like they've used in the main house because it has a bathroom here. Now this is a full bath, so here's your bathtub. Whew. I like a bathtub. There's your bathtub. Has a balcony up here so you can sit outside. I mean, this is a great space and could be finished too. If you just put a wall right up there, you have another bedroom with a bathroom. So much potential in this house. Just think about it. You have the main house and then you have two rental units if you want, or you can rent all three long-term. Now, if you wanted to rent it short-term, you would just need to think about that a little bit and make sure that you applied for a homestay permit for short-term rentals in the city of Asheville. But otherwise, this is a great income producing property with three different unique opportunities to make money. So if you wanted to come to Asheville, you know, for a little bit during the year, you have so many opportunities to have a place to stay and then make income too and be so close to downtown, it's not even funny. I mean, you could fly in and just like by that evening, you're, you're out, you're doing stuff. <laughs> Look at this grass, y'all. We have great grass right now. Well, seriously, this grass is amazing. I mean, you know, there's a lot of places right now that, you know, have had some water damage and stuff, you know, but this has not. And I just see green, beautiful grass right now. It's like, oh, green, beautiful grass. Look at this little picnic area down here. And they got the grill out and ready to rock. Now this is probably a, an area that all the units can use. Now, and one thing I wanna show you too is that there are steel beams here supporting this. Now, sometimes in Asheville and Western North Carolina, you'll see that's wood. Here it is super supportive and strong with steel beams and this whole house is uh, constructed like that. So if we look down here, well, where should we go? Let's go over to the natural spring right here. Now I'm not gonna go down in there right now, but there, that's where the spring is coming up. They have a box around it. They got a pump that's pumping it all up, right up, right up to the street for everybody. Now in here, there is an unfinished area that could be made into a few different things. So this could be a spot for artists. This could be a home gym. They're just using it as storage. Ceilings are really, really high. Whatever you need. Whatever you need, you could totally finish out that area. And then let's go check out the solar panel box here. Oh, you know what I, for I forgot? I forgot, y'all. Outdoor shower. Now, I'm not doing this today. It's a little chilly willy this morning. Y'all, look at this. You just you have hot and cold water right here. Outdoor shower. You need everybody needs an outdoor shower. I really want an outdoor shower. I'm going to put that on my manifestation list. Hot water outdoor shower. Hot water outdoor shower. And then... We got a little hobbit hole here. Whoa. Where you go in, you gotta crunch down, y'all. Come on in. <gasps> this is so warm and dry in here. It feels so good. It feels so good. Okay, so check out these systems. This is Soul Arc Solar. So here you have the uh, control panel. Here you have the backup battery. And then here you have the tankless hot water heaters on demand. And then some extra storage space down here for bikes and whatever you need. Now, one thing that's cool about this house too is that there's two different EV chargers for electric vehicles. Probably operated by the solar. You think those are operated by the, those can be operated by the solar. That's one thing I thought about. When everybody loses their power and they have electric cars, how do they charge them? They have a solution for that. How much do you think a home like this goes for? So there's two apartments, there's one main house, there's five bedrooms, five baths total. Built in 2019, a lot of square footage, a lot of income potential there. Right in the heart of Asheville with solar panels, I'm just doing a little recap for you and also giving you time to comment down below what you think. How much does it go for? 1.2 million.
So right behind me is what they're pumping the spring water into. And you'll see these all over town right now. We're, we're needing them less and less as water comes back in different areas. But this is beautiful because it's spring water. So I bet uh, they say boil for ingestion, but it's spring water. So it's probably less risky. These are called totes. People are getting them toted in from all over. And you just put them on some pallets and then you can fill up your bucket right there if you need it for drinking. Use not drinking. For splashing or bucket showers. All the jazz. I got up this morning, I was like, oh my gosh, I get to take a hot shower, y'all. I got power and electricity back in Asheville. Now, not everywhere, little pockets. And I got up this morning, I'm like, I'm gonna have a hot shower. It's gonna be awesome. And then I realized my pilot light wasn't lit on my hot water heater and we have to get, <laughs> we have to get a replacement part. But guess what? I got a shower the other day, so I am fresh. I have to tell you guys, when I got power and water back on in my house, there was a little bit of me that felt sad. Like, because there was such a beautiful thing that was happening with community, uh, especially in my neighborhood and different places. Like, there was, like, I didn't expect that either. Like, there was this tinge of, like, grief, of grief. Like, this part of this experience is coming to an end. What I mean is, like, where we were talking to our neighbors every day, where we were checking in on our community, um, I was able to spend so much quality time, uninterrupted, quiet quality time with my family. And my kids have been home from school and it's so fabulous. People are going back to school now. Things are opening up. It's a totally different story now. And like, there's this like, there's this like thing tugging at my heart right now where uh, it feels like everything's going to change. And I really hope that we are able to keep a lot of the wonderful experiences that this has given us with us as we move forward. I'm finding that it took me it took me a good week to like not try to like flip on the switch in my uh, in my my house like to turn on my lights. And now I'm walking into rooms and I'm not even turning on the lights at all and I'm forgetting that I have electricity. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can totally not use my headlamp right now to go to the bathroom. I can just flip a switch and boom and I can flush a toilet. Luxurious. We are at the Whole Foods here, which we have been in before in some of our other videos, but I just want, kind of want to give you an update about what's going on in Asheville. Water is coming back downtown. Um, had it flowing out of the spigots yesterday, like flushing it out, but it's not everywhere downtown yet, but it's going to be coming. What, today, you think? Tomorrow? But what you'll see in places instead of public restrooms is you'll see some porta potties in in the um, parking lots. Porta potties in the parking lots. And um, they're real clean. They're serviced all the time. And... Uh, I'm just gonna test them out for you. You know, we wanna report the correct information. Oh, wow. So fresh and so clean. I wanna report the correct information um, to you, you know, on the ground. Ah! Oh, Lord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Breaking the public restrooms here. <laughs> Should we check out Whole Foods? So there's so many um, grocery stores that are open now. Are there grocery stores that are not open now? Justin, do you know? I have not seen any that are not open. Okay, so everybody's up and running for the most part. Breweries are open, of course. They're serving beer, the bars are open. This lady's open. But I think it's really good to see the current state of affairs, right? And so the current state of affairs is, um, we're pretty we're pretty well stocked. So I went to Ingalls yesterday and they were out of some, some refrigerated goods. But Whole Foods looks to be Looks to be pretty stocked. And you know, there's a lot of places around town that are still open for free hot meals. So, and it's for everybody. It doesn't mean like you don't have to be totally down and out to, to get those free hot meals. You don't have to have lost your home or um, things like that. So it's for, it's for all the community. So it looks like they don't have like a hot bar up, but there's definitely food on the shelves. There's things available. There's hot soup here. I mean, this is this is Whole Foods operating at its normal speed. Go check it out. It's not super busy. I mean, the lines are not really long. It's not it's not congested. People are not frantic. It's kind of like normal every day. Normal every day. Hi. Are you playing some music here? Yeah. I, I, this is one of my favorite spots to bask. Yeah. So, yeah cool. How how are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. Musicians, I know, have had a hard time because everything kind of closed down for a while, but they're starting to play again. Well, I'm, I'm a huge fan of a positive way of thinking on life, so regardless, I have one of my favorite positive affirmations. I don't know if you ever heard of it. I'm always happy and joyous no matter what external conditions are. You know, obviously, I have to admit that I've de gotten depressed 
from a, yeah a, a day that I, I let myself go there um, since the storm because no one I did not expect that it was just a rainstorm honestly so yeah I did not expect it to be um, as many people have not expected it to be anything. Yeah, and Asheville in general seems to have kept a really positive outlook I, amongst all the chaos and devastation that's happened. Yeah, I think we're truly blessed for all the resources that, that were available to us after this happened. Yeah. People came in from all over offering help and they're still coming, which is so cool. Crazy social leave it away It's my, my car moves. There are so many things to consider right now. Asheville is ever evolving in really cool ways um, and you need to stay informed. So keep up with us and if you want to learn more about if Asheville is right for you in general, check out this video right here. Until then, ciao for now.